Baptist. I've also told you the message of John the Baptist. Now I'm talking about the ministry of John the Baptist. Ministry is assignment. Ministry is something that heaven asks you to do. What did God send John the Baptist to come and do? After he has preached the message of salvation. After he has talked to the people about repentance. The next thing is for him to move people into the kingdom of heaven. So after he has finished preaching, he gave them opportunity to fulfill his ministry. After they have heard the message he came to declare unto them. Look at what the people do. Look at what God wants you to do tonight. What did the people do? In that Matthew chapter 3 verse 5. He said they went out to him Jerusalem. Yes. Mommy, I'm fellow microphone. Yes. Yes. How do you repent? You repent by confessing and acknowledging your sin. There are people that listen to the message of John. Until they confess their sin, the message has no impact in their lives. Until then, as you are hearing the message, don't say this preacher is very sweet. Don't say the message is sweet. I'm not here to entertain you. The purpose of this message is that you will do something. And that is the ministry of John the Baptist. After the people heard the message, they saw their lives. They saw the life they were living. And they saw the need for them to repent. They saw that they were ready on their way to Kyoi. And they said they turned around. They will never get to Lagos. So they passed. From Jerusalem, from Judea, and they made a U turn. Then they followed the message of John the Baptist. True. All of the men looking at us now, God expects repentance from you. He wants you to acknowledge and confess your sin. They did not just sit down where they were, they acknowledge themselves as sinners. Me, if I continue like this, I will never get to the kingdom of God. And because I want to go to the kingdom of God, John the Baptist, I am a millionaire, but my millions cannot take me there. I am a big politician, but my political office cannot take me there. And John, do you look at me like this? I am even a professor. I have an academic certificate. But this certificate cannot take me there. So they all humbled themselves. From Jerusalem to Judea, they acknowledged the message. And they came confessing their sins. And then he ushered them into the kingdom of God. And when he ushered them into the kingdom of God, they can now continue on their journey. And as they are continuing on their journey, I'm going to continue from there tomorrow. You will see that while they are on their journey, going. Challenges are in the world. Satan is still in the world. Witches and wizards they are still in the world. How do you overcome them? When the Boko Haram, the full and killers, they are on the way. When sickness is on the way, after you have made a U-turn, how do you continue your journey until you get to Lagos? That is what I'm going to tell you tomorrow. We don't want to stay long here tonight because we are going to pray now. The prayer you are going to pray, I will pray for you. But before I pray for you tonight, you are going to pray for yourself. You know when we come to his surgery, and we are talking about deliverance, we are talking about miracles, we are talking about household powers, we pray very well. But when we talk about the kingdom of God, 
Some people will not pray as they should pray. I want you to pray very much tonight. I see that you see a witch, you want to kill him. I see you see the enemy of your progress, you want to destroy him. I see somebody is pulling you into destruction and you are fighting back. That is why he said the kingdom of God suffering violently. And the violence take it by force. People of God, we are in the last days. A lot of things are happening. Even Satan knows that the time is very short. That any time from now the world will come to an end. That is why you see all the evil happening around us. Kidnapping. Some people are being kidnapped. 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 And they will collect the money, nobody can catch them. I remember the day, man. You are not even sure when you travel again. You are not even sure when you travel again. You are not even sure when you travel again. You are not even sure when you travel again. You are not even sure when you travel again. You are not even sure when you travel again. You are not even sure when you travel again. You are not even sure when you travel again. You are not even sure when you travel again. You are not even sure when you travel again. You are not even sure when you travel again. You are not even sure when you travel again. You are not even sure when you travel again. You are not even sure when you travel again. You are not even sure when you travel again. You are not even sure when you travel again. You are not even sure when you travel again. You are not even sure when you travel again. You are not even sure when you travel again. You are not even sure is the message of John the Baptist. Let us rise up now. Wherever you are, I beg of you that we have been talking for about 45 minutes. Now it is time for you to stand up and pray. And you are going to open your mouth, you will pray very well. The kingdom of heaven is at hand. Tio de Milo no ye metalo ko ba mi mo ni o ko yo ni ashale o ya If you leave this world today, 
Let's say you die tonight. All the trumpets sound tonight. And I'll be reaming. Women. I'll be reaming. Men. And you're a door one. Youth. And you're a mother. Where will you be? You will be. I shall not be able to lie. I want you to open your mouth. Oluwa shall not fool me. Lord help me. Oluwa darry Jimmy. Lord forgive me. You know what I'm saying, no? Do you know the sin? Don't buy anything. That is. You know the sin that is troubling you. You can come to God tonight. Oh Lord, you know me. What me I shall not. God has said that I. Not to what you share in fun. You send this message to me. Who make you run up the water? That you should repent. The story is about Lord who could see that day. He will soon come. When he comes. To meet his people, where will you be? Woman, where will you be? He wants to have mercy upon you tonight. He wants to touch you tonight. Very quickly, I want to pray for you because I'm carrying anointing. The anointing to help you to fulfill the ministry of John the Baptist. So, go share the ministry of John the Baptist. So, go share the ministry of John the Baptist. Because you want to confess your. You want to forsake your past way. You want God to turn you around. I want to pray for you now. Wherever you are, please just raise up your hand. Just raise it above your head. You are saying, God, I want you to help me. Because the kingdom of God is coming. I want to get to heaven. No, I want to end my day. Lord help me. My certificate cannot do it. My position in the church cannot do it. My money cannot take me there. You are saying Jesus. 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 I want to pray for you here to be a good boy. It's okay. You know, you're the one who is okay. You know, you're the one who is okay. The way we read it in Matthew chapter 3, verse 5. Yeah, you're the one who is okay. John the Baptist did not go to them. They came to John the Baptist. So that he can pray for them. And if you want me to pray for you, you can pray for them. 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 Jesus, come forward here. Come on, come on, come on. 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 Come on, come on Oh yeah, I want to pray. 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 Oh yeah, I Where will you be? 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 Where will you Tell me, tell me, tell me. If you are still there, join them very quickly.
place. Because I want to pray for you tonight. And the kingdom of heaven will enter into your heart. In the name of Jesus Christ. All of you that are in front already. You are going to close your two eyes. As you close your two eyes. You will lay your right hand on your chest. When you lay your right hand on your chest. As I am praying for you. You will be saying amen. And when you say amen. The hand of God will reach out to you in the name of Jesus. Before I start to pray tonight, if you are still there, you are still thinking. If I come out, will they see me? It doesn't matter. It's between you and God. Before I start to pray tonight, if you are still there, you are still thinking. If I come out, will they see me? It doesn't matter. It's between you and God. Before I start to pray tonight, if you are still there, you are still thinking. If I come out, will they see me? It doesn't matter. It's between you and God. Before I start to pray tonight, if you are still there, you are still thinking. If I come out, will they see me? It doesn't matter. It's between you and God. Before I start to pray tonight, if you are still there, you are still thinking. If I come out, will they see me? It doesn't matter. I've seen God healing a linear disease. Kidney disease, he has healed it. Stomach ulcer, he has done it. Great growth in the body, he take it away. Eyes that are blind, he open it. Whatever is your problem tonight, Jesus that sent me is going to touch your body in the name of Jesus. Those of you that are here tonight, bad dream. 
Evil people pursue you. Attack in your dream. Eating in the dream. The woman there. That woman that they use something to tie you down. You see yourself sitting on the chair. In the, on the dream and they tie you in your hand and your leg. And you cannot help yourself. Tonight. Tonight. The hand of Jesus will cut those yoke in Jesus' name. Father, in the name of Jesus, you are a God of miracle. You are a God of wonder. Tonight, I bring this people here. Every crisis in their life, every barrenness, every bad luck, every disease, every attack of demons. This love activity that you have been operating in your life after tonight by the power in the name of Jesus and I break no fear away in the name of Jesus. You sickness, you are a stranger, and the Bible says the stranger shall flee out of their hidden places with trembling and with fear. As you are hearing my voice now, I command you that lizard moving in your body, I command you that stone in your kidney, I command you that barrenness in your womb, come out in the name Jesus. I drive you out by fire. I drive you out by fire. I say, come out in Jesus' name. Uh, all those bad luck. Anything you lay your hand upon is scatter. Anything you do, it fail. And people are making you to laugh. You know, people are laughing at Elizabeth. Oh, my when you're Mary. Mary. Oh, Mary. Oh, Mary. Oh, Oh, Every time, church. Ah, the real go church like yeah. And we never see the glory of. Maybe that is what your neighbors have been telling you. They say, where is the God you are serving? I come here as the servant of God. Every reproach raining in your life. By the anointing of heaven in the house, or this altar. I command it to disappear in the name of Jesus. Spirit husband, what spirit wife? I bind your power, go in the name of Jesus. Anything God has not planted in your life, if you want to three, cut fire in the name of Jesus. Cut fire in the name of Jesus. You are free. I said. Tonight, a woman here, somebody points finger at you, and from that time, it has been from one depth to the other. When you gather, it will scatter. Everything goes upside down. You are trying everything as fake. God is asking me to announce to you, woman, that reproach has come to an end tonight. Where are you? That report has come to an end. You are that person. Where are you tonight? In the name, that is the hand there. In the name of God the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. By the reason of the anointing of the Holy Ghost, I am coming out of the call of God upon my life. Tonight, that report is broken in the name of Jesus. I cancel it. By the power of God, I cancel it. So let it be. You will testify. The power of God will be your In the name of God the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. You faithful Father. In Jesus' mighty name, we pray. Amen.
You will now sing this song. And you know Lord, 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 Lord. Amen. Amen. Check up yourself. Yes. Check up yourself. Yes. You have received a miracle today. Thank you, by you God. God. That God has feed you. All the prophecy has come for you. And it is your own. And as you are checking yourself down, the miracle has happened to you. Put your hand, let me see you. Hallelujah.